how do we know that we live in the system or that the system drains us? In order to understand what the system is, we have to understand it's not about our politics or our religion or our whatever about the order. The system is whatever there is in the projected reality. So when we pay attention at the, the different elements of the projected reality, that is our way of giving our energy through that focus to the projected reality. And so when we are uh, following different spiritual paths, which teach us to pay attention at the external, at the projected reality, those paths are dead ends. Because the true spiritual path starts from focusing within, shifting that focus within our inner being and realigning with a higher frequency that is not of the projected reality. And so those people who do not understand this spend a lot of time researching, intellect, intellectualizing, fighting with this projected reality without understanding that whatever side they, ta they take or whatever they consider as right or wrong, whatever they consider as, uh, you know, uh, holy or unholy, doesn't matter because this projected reality is the reality of multiplicity, not even duality. The duality principle is that within the higher consciousness itself, the, that, that higher consciousness from where the, the, the creation starts. But whatever else is there, especially in this day and age, whatever we experience as reality is of multiplicity. And so we have these multiple choices we are divided and fragmented. That's why we can say clearly that we live in the day and age, which is called Kali Yuga or the Iron Age or the lower frequency age, because we, when we are in this age, our consciousness is scattered. That's why we, we, we lose energy to absolutely everything. That's why our lifespan is also short. If we were to understand that in order to prolong our life or in order to get to a different timeline or a different in, in order to get into a different cycle or era whether individually or collectively we have to understand that this projected reality is made of our conscious energy and the moment we start withdrawing this conscious energy within and cultivating our higher self this is the time when we actually start our spiritual journey and this is the time when we can shift the paradigm. We cannot shift the paradigm by fighting uh, with this projected reality, by turning one element of this projected reality against the other because it's not going to lead anywhere. The whole reality is feeds off the conflict, feeds off the conscious attention and it doesn't even matter which element you support, which side you support. What matters is that you cultivate that which is of a eternal nature, that, that has spiritual value. Everything else is a projection and in whichever name you have a reason to extend your conscious focus outwards or for whatever reason you give your attention to this projected reality, it is still draining you. That's why it is so difficult to stop the process of aging, decay, to restore one's balance because this reality reached the point of unprecedented level of sucking our energy from all possible ways. We are drained from within our attention is scattered and more and more elements require this attention. Our man-made reality is created this way so that it can be fed by our conscious focus and attention or in other words our conscious energy. Without it, it doesn't exist. So when you spend a lot of your time and your life energy to fight for something, to defend something, to prove something, you just lose your time, your life energy. You lose your youth, you use your health for what? And the whole system is created in such a way so that we can remain in a mode, in a stressful mode, where 
we would feel codependent on this projected reality because this projected reality cannot sustain itself with our attention and with our energy and that's why everything you face in this reality needs your energy and thus it will attract you push you to give it your energy and so when we remain in this unrestful unsettled state numbing our pain not addressing our internal corruption and pain of fragmentation we are wasting our life on unnecessary things not prioritizing our own existence that eternal essence that eternal existence but instead prioritizing everything else that is of a fragmented nature that is of a limited nature and thus we cannot understand what is of true value and that's why we still remain in this day and age of corruption of fragmentation and all our spiritualities of the same nature it doesn't even matter there all our spirituality just drags us outside of self instead of really cultivating and empowering self healing self and prolonging one's life so there is a food for thought and i hope it helps someone if you appreciate this content you may donate through youtube via thanks button and for more content you can like and subscribe. Thank you.